Hi, my name's Mark Wilson and I'm a water gardener. What we've got here is we've got a fountain outside of a beautiful house. You see it's a great big lovely house on the main road but when the fountain's working it drowns out the noise of the traffic. You can probably hear it behind me. This is real life, I've got no control over the traffic I'm afraid. This pond has got a big problem with green water. Single cell algae just takes out nutrients. A couple of things you could do with a fountain out the front of your house is one you can add chlorine and um, keep it sterile. Sterile conditions obviously is not an ecosystem. What we're doing on this pond is basically we're um, gonna shade the pond by putting in water lilies. They don't compete with the, for the nutrients because they take the nutrients out of the, the pot. And then we're gonna put in some floating water hyacinths that will compete and shade. So bear with me and I'll get it done. Right, I've got another top tip for you. This pond is half a metre deep, just over 18 inches or 500 mil. The, um, the size of the pot here is about a foot deep. So then you've got 20 centimetres of water, 200 mil, 10 inches, eight to 10 inches. You can either put them in on top of it, pot them up in aquatic soil, or you can um, put the pots three litres on top of an upside down pot. Got a couple of options. Basically, when they're grown in the nurseries, they're grown in very shallow water. They're not grown in half a deep, um, half a meter deep ponds. So they're actually grown very, very small. Probably, I would say a foot deep pond, something like that. So um, what they do is um, they grow proud of the of the actual water when they're in shallow. So you'll see in shallow lakes, the water lilies will actually grow proud of the water and stand up upright. So um, that's, you, you know, either the water lily's flown up, floated up, real life, <laughs> or flown up, whatever you want to. Um, okay, so back on track, Mark. Right, what we've got is we've basically got a small pot on a bigger pot so it doesn't drown in the green water. So it raises up. As the water lily grows, we can actually lower it down and then maybe transfer it into a bigger pot. This one's actually got longer leaves. So we're actually gonna, we've potted it up now and put that in and see if it's too deep. Um, because it's green, what we don't wanna do is we don't wanna block out all the light. The single cell algae may kill the lily. If you can't see it, it can't grow because it can't get the light to grow. So just to see them in situ, you can see the one that you can see the leaves. That's our upside down on top of the pot. And the one behind just here is actually the correct depth it will come up no problem at all so we'll actually pot this one now so as long as you can see the foliage it's fine if you can't see the foliage put the upside down pot up like the last video and then that you'll be able to see the lily leaves like this so they're too far out of the water really once they've um, settled down for a while they will actually stand up but because um, they we can see the leaves then it's not a problem we'll pot them all up now just to say accidents do happen when i was lifting this water lily the pot cracked. This is retail available, brand new, bought today. Now I've got a mess to clear up. Bad times. Just been clearing up the lily pot on the side there and look what I found in the hedge. Checking me out, look. Nice damp day. Happy as Larry, or well, perhaps not. That's where he belongs with the flies on a wet day like this. So what we've got here is we've got a green pond and we've put in water hyacinths and six water lilies. You can't see them at the moment on the footage because they're just below the surface and we've got to wait for a couple of weeks for them to come up. But I will come back. I'm sure you all can't wait. Roll on the weekend. I'm back on site again. Remember we had green water in this um, fountain. We put some water lilies in and look how well they're doing. They're doing great. And actually they've uh, shaded the surface so the water's actually clear now. Isn't that fantastic? Just by adding some plants. We took the floaters out because they were getting scorched so we put them into the main pond. Um, but the water lilies are doing just their job and they're doing great.